G'day, my name's Damned. Welcome to the first video in a new rule set wizard tutorial series. We're going to be starting to build a basic rule set and it's going to be for a fairly simple game system and we're just going to aim to be building the character sheet uh, in this video tutorial and then share that and make it available to everybody. So let's get started. So I've jumped onto Drive-Thru RPG and I've found the Advanced Fighting Fantasy uh, quick Start um, by Arian Games, uh, Graham Botley, and it's obviously using the Steve Jackson Ian Livingstone Advanced Fighting Fantasy system. We can see that this is a very simple system. We've got some rollable and trackable stats in skills, stamina, luck, magic, and magic points. Uh, we've got some physical skills, and some of our equipment allows us to roll different numbers um, or when we roll a d6 it actually generates a different set of numbers and um, that's pretty much it so this is a nice simple uh, project to get started with. We're going to be building this just in Fantasy Grounds Unity. It's possible that it will work 100% in Fantasy Grounds Classic um, but I'm no longer going to be coding stuff with a view to supporting both just going to be coding for Fantasy Grounds Unity. So the tools that we need are Fantasy Grounds Unity Notepad++. We use Notepad++ to pull apart um, the core RPG rule set and sometimes to pull apart a different rule set if we want to uh, look at the code that's in there and see how something is done to, to help us work through a problem in ours. Uh, GIMP because we'll need to make some graphics for this. Uh, so GIMP is my uh, graphics editor of choice. You can use whatever you like. I'm comfortable and familiar with GIMP so that's why I use GIMP. And then we're going to be using the rule set wizard, which is the uh, pretty cool um, IDE tool for building uh, Fantasy Grounds rule sets. Um, it's uh, done by Psychedelics. It's not by Fantasy Grounds, uh, but it's a fantastic tool and it really helps a lot of people get up to speed. But you'll see through this process that it doesn't divorce you from the need to learn how Fantasy Grounds works. This just speeds things up for a lot of people, especially the layout stuff. So let's get into it. So I've done a little bit of coding now and I've created a few graphics and what I'm going to do is just walk through what we've created so far. So we're here in the rule set wizard and I've created some sample folders or some base folders. We've got campaign, graphics and under graphics we've got frames and then we've got strings. And these are the initial folders that I think we'll need. And um, so we'll go and have a look at the objects that I've created so far. So firstly, we'll have a look at the frames. They're pretty simple frames. Um, we can see that I've created a graphic in uh, GIMP. Um, I've called this frame base frame one. I've imported the, or set the path to my base graphic, and I've set the offset. And this is basically, the offset is the shorthand way of doing nine slices. So we can see over here in this green square, if you would extend each of these lines to the edge of the graphic, that's how you get your nine squares. So basically this is this one here, this first line is this one that's 30 pixels in from the left, the next one is 30 pixels in from the top, then 30 pixels in from the right, and then 30 pixels into the bottom. Yes, in this example it's 30, 30, 30, and that's just because of the object that I'm working with. Um, they could be quite different, but you can see here that this section here is repeats smoothly, uh, as does this one, this one, and this one, and that's how why the borders have been defined as such. So we've got three frames that are very, very similar. Um, in fact, um, I've used the same image and, and just modified parts of it. The next part that uh, we'll look at is car sheet. And car sheet is typically the starting point for most things that we do. And we can see here in our object explorer, we've got the frame. Uh, we've got a graphic box. So car sheet we'll start with that first over here um, I've set the frame as being base frame 1 I've set the height to 600 pixels the width to 500 pixels um, we're joining the existing car sheet from core RPG all right and that means that things like the speech icon the token and the portrait they will all come through and what I've done here is for simplicity I have basically set my heights and widths to be fixed 
and it's very very likely by the end of the project that these will have changed but rather than creating something that's resizable at the moment I'm going to go with a fixed width project. The next part is this uh, frame. Um, we can see here that it's called the overview frame. Overview frame, it's going to replace the existing overview frame from Core RPG and let's have a quick look at that. So I've opened up our file called record underscore car from Core RPG and we're looking at the window class car sheet. Car sheet is the same as our car sheet frame here. Okay, this is when I was referencing that you need to sort of learn how um, Fantasy Grounds is built with these window classes and that's a window class in that XML code is the same as a window here in the rule set wizard. When we have a look at this, we've if we scroll down here, uh, we'll find something called frame car overview frame. And the overview frame uh, is basically a graphical frame that holds all these objects. So we've created, a, you've just used an icon control. So we've create, added a graphic icon in the background. I've set its uh, width um, and height and its positioning. Now the horizontal anchor we've set as both, which means that it's anchored this distance from the left and this distance from the right. So if later on the frame does become, or the sheet becomes resizable, this element will resize. That's an easy one to resize. Then we also have to worry about the content, so it gets it gets complicated. Okay, and we're going to replace the existing one rather than uh, merge with it. We're just going to replace it. Then we've got a number of text fields, which was uh, name, description, uh, race, and sex. So we've got name. Now name is from the core RPG one. That's an existing field. So we look at name here. Uh, we can see that uh, I have chosen not to merge with that. I'm replacing that. Uh, we can see various settings there, pretty basic. Now, these ones, um, we've got uh, these string fields. I've used the advanced template string labeled. Okay, let's see why we use that. So when we find the name field here, we can see that it's using a template called string labeled. And we can also see that there's a parameter value in here called label res and a string um, resource in here. So basically what that means is that a string labeled field basically has your string field that you can edit and then beneath that has a line and beneath the line it has a label which basically tells you what the content that belongs in that field is. In this case it's name. Now, be, to help with translations, you use a string resource rather than a static string. So we've got label resource, uh, and that's the required tag as far as the code that uh, the string labeled template expects. And then we've got our string resource, which is car label name. So let's quickly pop back in here. Um, so we can see that we've got car label race for this one car label description and car label sex and these are the different uh, re text resources so let's go and have a look at those they're in here in a string resource so this is a straight XML file so we've got our XML uh, de declaration we the opening and closing root tags and then our strings car label race um, our English words for race description and sex okay so that covers these fields and this one here is a um, field for age and I haven't put a label on it yet I haven't formally detect the the number box so I've just put a box in here in the right spot and then the final piece of this particular frame is this sub window so we can see FG sub window so that's from down here it's a sub window drag one of these in here and the sub window has the name main and we're actually going to end up with several sub windows in here later on but for the moment uh, we've got one here called main and it's got a height of 490 a width of 450 it doesn't go all the way to the edge because we're going to have tabs along here so we need to leave room for those to appear on the uh, character sheet and
we've also uh, in the next video we're going to create the uh, car sheet main content that will fill this frame so that's it for this session actually let's just um, export this and let's see what it looks like so it's called DBR AFF that'll become a bit clear later on exported that switch to fantasy grounds and we'll reload that you can see that uh, I could reload just using the F1 key because I've dragged the reload command down here into my hotkeys and we've got a character called uh, Kazakonis and we can see now that we've got a couple of graphical elements here we've got the outside frame and we've got the overview frame and then we've got our text fields so name race description sex and our age field uh, the rest of these elements here are all being picked up from core RPG all right that's the end of video number one uh, stay tuned and uh, we'll bring you more of these videos as we build this rule set together